Hi friends, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to make fried modak. So let's get started. So here in a pan, I've taken two cups of grated coconut. Give it a good mix. Let it heat it up a little bit. Here I'm adding half cup of sugar. You can add more or less according to your taste, but half cup is perfect. Give it a stir, and we'll wait for the sugar to melt. Do not uh, cook it for too long. We don't want the sugar to caramelize. So here you can see the sugar is melted and the mixture has become nice and dry. That's what we want. We don't want too much moisture in the mixture. Now here I'm adding one fourth cup of uh, chopped nuts. I've used almonds and cashews. You can use any nuts of your choice. Give it a mix. So our mixture is ready here. Turn off the flame. And at this point, I'll grate in some nutmeg. Nutmeg is optional, but it gives gives a very good flavor. And I'm also adding one and a half teaspoon of cardamom powder, elaichi powder. Give it a mix, and our stuffing is ready. Transfer it in a bowl, and let it cool down before you start stuffing the moda. Now in a bowl, I've taken two cups of flour. I've used one cup of uh, whole wheat flour and one cup of maida or refined flour. You can use uh, two cups of whole wheat flour as well, but uh, refined flour gives it a nice crunch. I added half two teaspoons of salt. Give it a mix. And here I've heated up two tablespoons of clarified butter or ghee. Mix it, crumble it nicely with your fingers. Once you bind it, once you press it between your fingers, it should bind nicely. Then add in water little by little and make a dough. The dough should not be too tight, not too loose, somewhere in between. So I've used around one third cup of water to knead this dough. Knead it really nice. Cover it and rest it for at least five to ten minutes. So here my dough has rested. I'm going to make lemon-sized balls out of it. So I'm making eleven modaks. So I'm going to make eleven balls from it. Here my so, dough balls are ready. Take one portion and roll it out into a puri. So you don't want the puri to be too thin or too thick, somewhere in between. So once your puri is rolled out, take one tablespoon or one and a half tablespoon of the coconut mixture and place it in the center. Once you place it in the center, start pleating all around the edges, as shown. Once you pleat it, get the edges together to form a modak. Make sure to pinch it properly so that it doesn't open up in oil. So here our first modak is ready. I make the remaining the same way. So here my oil has heated up. Put the modaks in the oil and fry them till golden brown on medium flame. Make sure to stir it in between.
So once the modaks turn golden brown from all sides, your fried modaks are ready. Remove it and fry all the modaks the same way. So guys, hope you enjoyed the recipe. If so, do like, share, comment and subscribe. I will see you with another video till then bye take care